Okay, so here we go, the setup. So I've just literally just plugged the machine in and it's gone straight into the menu here. English. Uh, yeah, I definitely want English. Country region, UK. Yep. So now I'm going through some checks. And now it wants the ink. So we'll feed it some ink and then go from there. Okay, so now we need to install the ink. Um, instructions are diagrammatic, so they seem to be fairly easy to follow. So let's see. Um, so we have to lift up this, well, pull down this flap, then get to the machine and lift it up. That locks into place. And then we have this. We have to take this plastic piece out and that's where we put our ink in. Again, it's two-handed operations, so I'll do that um, in a minute. There's the ink cartridges, and we have, they're very small, very small capacity ink, so it'll be interesting to see how much use we get out of uh, an ink cartridge, especially the black, um, but basically you pull off the tab, that exposes the cartridge, and then you just simply pop that into there, and off we go. So uh, I'll do that now, and then come back once that's done. Okay, so the ink cartridges themselves are these things. So you, it's a bit of a faff. I have to say, I find this a little bit annoying. Maybe that's just me, but you have to pull off this little tab, which then removes plastic sleeve. And then you have this thing, just there. And you have to snap that off. And I'm quite heavy handed, so it just feels like you're going to break it. And again, very small capacity ink. And then what we have to do, it says the yellow, so it just goes in there, pops in there, and clicks in. And then you repeat that with all the others. So a bit of faffing around, but you know, it'll do. Okay, so here we go. The uh, ink cartridges have been unpacked. That's what you're left with to recycle, um, all the plastic bits and pieces. And then that's all the ink cartridges sitting in there. And then I'm guessing we close the door, which is what that says there. I'll close this. And off it goes. So now it's checking the printer cartridges. It's recognized the ink, so that's good. So we just click OK. Load the paper, well I've already done that. That's something I will say, um, for a very small printer, this um, paper tray just in here uh, holds a lot of paper. It's actually quite um, TARDIS-like, so I'm quite impressed by that. Lots of paper held in there, so that's good. So like I say, I'm going to configure this to print wirelessly. Um, I've struggled with other printers in the past, so hopefully the HP will be uh, much, much better at this. Okay, so it's just asked now to uh, align the ink cartridges after the initial setup. So I've just clicked the uh, touch screen, which works very well, very clear. Um, and we'll see how we go now with that. So it's now doing the alignment page prints. So this is the first print I've had out of this machine. Uh, just for aligning Okay, so I can see already this is kind of clever. So it uses the scanner on the printer to align the heads of the cartridge. So it kind of is self Self working uh, self setup. Well, that's kind of cool Okay, so I'm about to um, scan the sheet. I've just printed. Uh, I have noticed it hasn't picked up the paper properly So um, it's missed off some of the print. So that's not a good start, but we'll uh, we'll do the scan anyway and uh, and see if it's worked. It might ask me to reprint the page. Ah, see, now here we are. Problem immediately. Um, so I'm gonna try and print again. See if it picks up the paper this time. Here we go. So this is now printed properly. Um, you can see on the previous print it had missed off this bottom bit, so it hadn't fed the paper properly, basically. So I'm now gonna try the new sheet. It's 
so that goes in there, it goes down there, click scan. Now, fingers crossed, this will work. Still thinking. There we go. The printer has aligned successfully and it's now calibrated. So uh, we can recycle or discard the alignment page. So now it's saying to me to go to uh, this website at 123hp.com to get the software and set up the printer. So I'll do that now. Right, so I'm quite impressed at the moment. I've just been going through the setup process uh, and what the printer wants you to do is essentially uh, go to the HP website, uh, 123hp.com. Uh, you download the software or the app to your mobile phone or your PC. And it's quite cool because the uh, the it hooks up to your wireless network that the HP is on uh, and it seems to produce its own uh, setup Wi-Fi network, which the app then finds. And then it kind of goes automatically through the stuff, connects to your Wi-Fi, and then um, the, the printer finds the computer or the phone and then uh, goes through a setup process. And at the moment, um, I'm setting that up now. So the uh, HP software is talking to my printer. So there's the printer. That's my uh, machine. And now it's trying to, uh, you know, set up. So I'm now setting up this instant ink thing. So it claims you're going to save 70% on ink, which for me is a, is a lifesaver because I go through a lot. So I'm going to fill in the details it's asking for now to set up this account and uh, see how we do. So the plan has this instant ink option um, and the printer itself comes with two months of free subscription. So it's kind of clever because you can, you know, select, um, you know, a two months worth of printing for free. Uh, essentially so it's a good option if you want to test the printer out and then I guess you can cancel at any time in fact it says there risk free cancel any time so uh, I'm going to click on the 300 pages option because uh, why not you know I've got the ink here anyway so I'll click on that and then if I don't like it I can always cancel at any point according to this text uh, again I'm I'm not normally one to go for these subscriptions but I've got two months three so I'm going to click on 799 uh, and then continue and there we go so it then says i'd like to get updates and things i think that's useful if you're going for the service uh, and then i'll put in the uh, the rest of the text and then on the printer itself the app has already spoken to the printer and told us that uh, it's set up let's click on ok and that's now setting that up and then we go back to the PC and click continue on there. And now it gets nosy and asks what you're going to use your printer for. So I'm going to put in for business, gets even more nosy. Um, small business and then a postcode, which I'll put in in a second. Um, so it does ask quite a lot of information from you. And that's not really my thing. I don't like that. Um, but you have to do it. You're forced to put in this information to finish setting up the printer. So I've put in all my details now and uh, the printer's set up. Uh, and now this is the bit that I've failed to do well with anything else I've had uh, is printing from mobile phones and tablets. It just doesn't seem to work with the stuff I've got. So, um, you know, we can install the, the app on this situation here. Um, and uh, I'm going to do that on a, an iPad Pro and also on my work telephone. Uh, that would be very useful to be able to print from those items. So again, I'll give it a go and, uh, and then give some feedback in a second. Right, so far so good actually. I, I'm impressed. Uh, I've used the app, followed the instructions and it seems to be downloading drivers and doing everything correctly exactly as I'd hoped. So now apparently I should have to print wirelessly straight off the bat by uh, clicking this button here. Um, there is a test page. Uh, I've got other printers here, so I'll select which one I want. There is the printer. And then print. 
and immediately the HP 8022 is kicking into action um, good print speed seems to be printing well very fast and there we go so it works and I even get a little congratulations message look at that so um, in summary from unboxing if I wasn't making this video you're looking at a few minutes um, really to sort it out um, it's telling me already that there's a firmware update that could be the kiss of death couldn't it um, but essentially yeah very impressed so far with the setup the printer itself um, feels quite flimsy and I suppose that is reflected in the price I'm not sure what this is going to retail at fully yet in various stores but essentially for setup and ease of use uh, it's brilliant uh, I'm very impressed and I think for a small office or just for people who want a small printer at home who need to scan every so often um, this would probably be a very good choice so um, yeah all in all HP Jet Office Jet Pro 8022 uh, is getting a thumbs up I'll install the firmware and hopefully it'll stay working just as well